Hello friends, and welcome to another week's musical devotion. I'm calling this series Divine Listening because I hope you'll take a moment in your, what I recognize as a very busy life, I'm sure, um, to sit down and encounter God in beautiful music. This week we're going to be hearing a little bit of Johann Sebastian Bach, perhaps my favorite composer. Um, he is sitting right behind me, keeping careful watch that I don't um, describe his music poorly. So, um, we're going to be listening to a movement from one of his Pentecost cantatas. And this cantata has a real honey of a German name. It's O ewiges Feuer, O Ursprung der Liebe. And that mouth full of German um, is translated to O Eternal Fire, O Source of Love. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, we just celebrated Pentecost this past June and it's not quite time um, to be hearing about Pentecost, but I think that we are on the cusp of two very spirit-filled um, events in the life of the church this coming weekend. The first of them, of course, is our celebration with the church all around the world um, of the Protestant Reformation, which of course our namesake Martin Luther put into motion. And the second event, um, even more importantly, I think, uh, for all of us here at Trinity is the confirmation of five of our young people. And uh, confirmation is the moment when we consider them to have reached maturity in their faith. They've had, uh, it's the culmination of a three-year process um, of instruction, um, hard work by them and their parents and their teachers. And this is the moment when we ask for the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be conferred upon them as they continue to grow in their faith and as they continue to participate in the life of our parish. So it's something which we're going to celebrate. And so this spirit-filled celebratory music seemed especially appropriate. Now, I'm going to read you the entire text of the opening chorus, um, O eternal fire, O source of love, ignite our hearts and consecrate them. Let heavenly flames penetrate and surge over us. We wish, O highest, to be your temple. Ah, may our souls be pleasing to you in faith. With such an evocative text, I think we can expect um, really fiery music, and old Johann Sebastian does not disappoint. This um, music moves forward with tremendous velocity and, and fire and zest. And if last week's listening, which was uh, the Et Incarnatus Est from Mozart's C minor Mass, is sort of time-stopping in its beauty, uh, this contrasts quite a bit by being sort of rhapsodic in its energy and excitement. And so you'll hear these beautiful fanfares from the trumpets. You'll hear the singers singing often in what we call counterpoint, which means that each part is independent that then weaves into a greater whole of this tapestry of sound. You'll be hearing fiery timpani and blaring trumpets and uh, strings that just move constantly in these patterns of 16th notes, which create that sense of forward motion, that sense of animation, that sense of zest from the Holy Spirit. And I think this celebratory music really, really sort of encapsulates what we hope for our confirmands as they mature in their life in faith. And so I would like us to close before you listen to the music with a prayer, and we can pray together if you click see more um, down below. Uh, I'll have the text of the prayer there. Um, and let us pray together this wonderful prayer for our confirmands. So let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, you send out your spirit to touch the hearts of all people, so that they may believe in you and in Jesus whom you sent. Look kindly on Brandon, Nathan, Ashley, Rachel, and Kirsten as they listen to your voice. Open their hearts to your spirit and bring to fulfillment the good work that you have begun in them. As we prepare to confirm these young people, make each of us an instrument of your love. Teach us to appreciate what is holy in others, and to be patient with what we do not understand. Deepen our faith in the gospel and help us to pass it on by our example. We pray that you will continue to guide and sustain all of us. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, have a wonderful week. Give a listen to Bach's beautiful opening chorus to his uh, Cantata 34, O Avigus Feuer which uh, the link is down below. It's a wonderful recording by the Bach Choir. Alas, it was recorded before Amy and I joined, um, but I think it's a really cracking good recording of this wonderful piece of music. And do join us. Um, you can join the live stream 
uh, for worship on Sunday at 1030 when we have our confirmation service. The actual in-person um, people will be restricted to the confirmants, their families, their shepherds, and their teachers. Um, but you can watch online, you can leave comments of support for them, and we're actually, if people do leave comments of support during the liturgy, we're going to share that with them um, after they've been confirmed so that they can feel the love and support of this congregation during this time of social distancing. I think it's really important for us to convey that to them. And then join us next week for another musical devotion. God bless and be well.